Hi guys. I've started work on the laptops. Next, 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 blah, blah, blah. That one's installing XP, that one's installing in Windows 7. I think that's actually pretty much done. That one's not far off. Anyway. Oh! Video uploading, that's nearly uploaded. I've just got to set the tags out. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I'll set the tags out in a bit. I'm actually getting hungry. Hungry. Um, and a, a guy who I sold a bike to last year has contacted me again. Um, saying that someone has stolen his bike. Uh, the funny thing is, my friend that I've been helping went and found the bike about five days ago before this guy contacted me. He only contacted me yesterday. Um, he actually found it not far from his girlfriend's. Dumped in a little area we call Punk's Tunnel, which is just an underpass that goes under the bypass to the industrial estate. That's all it is. Um, so my friend knows who the bike belonged to, so he's been trying to, you know, keep his eyes open for the guy on his travels. Um, the problem is the bike's rather damaged. It's repairable, but damaged. Uh, but, uh, the guy also asked if I had any bikes, and initially I said no, but I forgot. I could sell him my um, single speed I made, the red and white one, if he's interested. So I have just messaged back and said I've got that one, but that's all I've got in stock at the minute. I don't know that now. Not gents' bikes, anyway. I've got ladies' bike. I've done the um, one I bought home yesterday. Gears were easy enough to sort. Brakes were easy enough to sort. Gave it a clean. Could do a clean in the wheels, but I'll do that before it goes. Just got to slap a couple of dust caps on. Should be good to go. I'm going to put it up for sale in a little while. I'll have something to eat first. But, uh, I haven't decided what I want. I uh, haven't got that far yet. I don't know if I fancy treating myself to my fortnightly takeaway or something else. Because either way, I'm going to have to go to Sainsbury's, I think. Or little. Just if I get hungry later this evening. Which. No doubt I will. I've got nothing in the cupboards to uh, munch on. One Lonely Farmer's latest video where he's uh, sick and stuck in bed, which isn't nice. It's not nice being sick and it's not nice being stuck in bed either. But, uh, I hope he gets well soon. And there's one dick in the comments who is just generally being a dick towards him and Bill's too much. So I'm being a dick back because. Quite frankly, I think the guy deserves it with um, the sort of threats he's been making towards Bill and Bill's family. Now, I don't mind a bit of trolling, but you don't bring someone's family into it who has nothing to do with anything, whether you're trolling or not. And you don't make threats of rape either. That in my opinion, is going way above trolling. That is just being an outright cunt, forgive my language. I don't like using that word, but that is what I think of this person.
one of these laptops is making some wonderful noises. Oh, it's Windows 7 and a froze. I wonder what it was. I thought that was Windows 7. Oh well. Um, but yeah. I don't know why people have got to be like it. Now, if you're going to troll anyone, you troll the person. You troll the person that made the video. You troll the person who's replying to you. You don't drag their... especially kids. You even drag the kids into it. You don't do that. You've got to be some special kind of fucked up to do that. Him names don't seem to have any effect anyway. I'm just going straight over. <laughs> so I'm actually guessing he is just deliberately doing it for the reaction, but I think, as I've said, dragging, you know, making threats towards Bill's family. Idle threats, that's all they are. We all know that idle threats, but you just don't do it. That's going beyond trolling, in my opinion. Anyway. I've got to decide what I want for dinner. Type the username now. No, I'm not typing the bloody password into it. Deal with that settings later. That's fine. The only thing I'll have to do, which I will do when I take these laptops back, I'll set at least this Windows 7 one up on the printer. I don't think. Because the one mum's using it at the minute, um, I think it's user personally, not the laptop itself. But Uh, anyway, that's why I'm refurbishing this XP. She only uses Window, um, not Windows. She only uses Facebook and eBay. That is it. Those are the only two websites she goes to. Mainly because she can't remember the password for her email. <laughs> um, so an old XP like this one should keep her going for a while. Until I can find something for... Ooh, the audio worked already. Well, that's a bonus. I've got to find that driver. Uh, this has got Wi-Fi, so... I'm just going to turn Wi-Fi on, see if it does anything. No, so it's not installed. So I've got to go online, I've got to find a Wi-Fi driver for that one. The HP, I'm going to have to go online and find all the necessary drivers, I think. Or at the very le least, the audio, because I know damn well that's not going to work, and if it does with XP. Or rarely does with Windows XP. Most likely screen driver, or video driver, I should say. Uh, and the Wi-Fi driver. I can find at least those three, which is what she's most likely going to use. I think everything else I could leave. I can't see her using the multimedia stuff, but if I can find it, I'll upload or install it all anyway. But, uh, seven is good to go. Now, I'm going to drag an Ethernet cable from my hub to here. I have got some through the, in the bedroom. So it'll just be easier for now as I haven't got the Wi-Fi working on either. I'll just uh, use a cable. I don't know 
going to change your screen resolution settings because at the moment stepdad's not good with his eyesight. Not when it comes to reading, so I think I may just leave them that. If he wants it shrunk, I can do that at a later date. No, this is rebooted. Are we going to get audio? No, we're going to get please wait. <laughs> uh, what can I get for dinner? I might go get a USA fried chicken, actually. Just fancy some chicken and chips. I actually fancy burger, but so I could actually go and get a couple of wrestlers burgers. It's going to cost the same amount anyway. I might do that actually. Never know if I'm lucky. Sainsbury's may have put their wrestlers on offer. Applying computer settings. I want to try and update the memory in this one as well. I need to take the memory cover off of the advent here and see if it's got one slot or two slot. If it's got one slot with one gigabyte in it, the laptop mum's currently using has DDR2. It has two gigabytes worth, so I could upgrade this one to two gigabytes of RAM. Mm. Find that, I may actually put it in my other one my Windows 7 to see if it will recognize 2 gigabytes of RAM because it's supposed to take 2 gigabytes DDR2 but it's still only registering gig and a half no audio so I'm going to have to do that no display settings so I'm going to have to do all that as well I think with this next bit though I've only got one one spare Ethernet socket on the back of that hub I'll just do one at a time it'll be easier so, I'll deal with the Windows 7 one first, I think, and turn off the HP. And I'll see if I can swap later on and <laughs> have this um, HP laptop. I don't know what it is, I just like the design. It just looks good to me. Nothing wrong with that one, really. Uh, but I'm going to have to see if I can pinch a 512 megabyte stick out of one of the other laptops. Um, I'm not even sure I've got one in the other laptops, but we'll find out. I know I have in this compact that I want it in that one. <laughs> well, actually, a 256 stick would um, still be an upgrade, and I know I've got some of those. Right. I don't really, really want to run the automatic updates because uh, I'm going to take Wigan forever. Well, I'll go through the list and use the um, essential updates, I think. Right, well, I'm going to go and do that. Go get something to eat. I am doing a separate video on the laptops. Uh, I'll do the next section of that when I start putting drivers and things on. I'll do what the second, oh, the, yeah, the second segment will be. Right, so I've got that decided. I think I've got dinner decided, so I'm going to go stuff my face, sort these out, sort these out. That was a bit Norfolk, and I'll be back. I'm just checking my emails. I've been busy doing those laptops. I've had dinner, so I had a break from doing the laptops, but the XP1 was, oh, I think it's finished. It was installing AVG, because um, I've pinched the two gigabytes of DDR RAM out of my Alienware to put in it, because uh, Mum will need it more than I do. I might soon buy another couple of gigabytes for that Alienware you know, another time, it's not important. Um, so it's now running. Uh, it's actually working pretty well, to be honest. Hopefully it's going to work better than the other one. The current one. Right. Oh, it looks 
like it's even ran the necessary updates as well. Nope, my mummy needs basic protection. Right, basic icons on the desktop. Here we go. Let's shut this one down now. It's definitely operating much faster than it was. Right. I think I might turn the volume down on that. <laughs> I think I found all the software for it anyway. All what I could find on the HP website anyway. Um, so, I'm just waiting for this poxy advent to do what it's got to do, but it's taken forever to find the bloody updates. But every Windows 7 I have built to date has done exactly the same thing, so all I can do is just leave it until it's done. Uh, I've got the ladies' purple savannah that I came back with yesterday. Um, that's up for sale. Uh, put it on eBay as the usual buy it now or best. Did I put best off or not? Did I take that off? No, I didn't. I'm pretty certain I left the best offer on there. Um, for seven days this time, not 30 days. So I'm hoping that's not going to take that long to sell that one because it's a damn decent bike. Probably one of the most decent ladies' bikes I've had in for a long while, actually. Uh, speaking of selling, I actually sold that broken tablet, the one that turned on but didn't do anything. Uh, and, um, yeah, I've got the notifications or noticed I had the notifications this morning, but I can't remember when it sold. It might have been last night, actually. But I posted that this afternoon when I went down to the job centre, because... Um, I got a phone call from my advisor, saying that the um, guy that arranges work experience placements and whatnot... Um, Wanted to speak to me. Because he's uh, found me a placement. In town. Um, I've got to go for an interview Monday. In the afternoon. No specific time. It just says after 2pm. And I've got to ask for a lady called Alison. Um, just a bit general grounds maintenance. Um, you know, keep the car park areas clean and tidy, etc. Stuff I can do, you know. Heck, it's not rocket science. <laughs> um, it'll probably be part-time hours anyway, but we can discuss that. May start, because they're closing for a little while before Easter and reopening at Easter, so... Well, if I'll start before then, or when they reopen at Easter, I don't know. Again, we can discuss that. But, um... One thing people think with his work, work experience placements is it's slave labour, which... In a sense, I suppose it is, but... You can also put that work placement on your CV as recent employment. So when you hand your CV to a potential employer, you know, when you're looking for proper paid work, they can see that you've been working recently. That's one of the ideas behind it. Uh, but um, the advisors have both stipulated that it is voluntary. If there's anything I'm not happy with, I can contact them and tell them and they can try and rectify the problem with the employer 
Of course, I can always approach the employer myself, but I'm pretty easy going. There's not a lot that would bother me. You know, I tell me to go do a job, I'll go do it. <laughs> Within reason, of course. You know, if they told me to go and change a light bulb 20 foot up on a dodgy scaffolding tower, then no, I wouldn't. But, uh, yeah, generally, and within reason, I would pretty much do whatever job they asked me to do. Even if it wasn't initially in my job description. So I'm not bothered. <laughs> but I did say that, um... I think they said they recommend no more than 30 hours a week, otherwise it could, uh be considered as the employer taking the proverbial piss, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> so, um, I suppose, yeah, I suppose it is free labour, but not as bad as I thought it was, to be honest. And if I can get something I can put on at the top of my CV, which is recent, and that'll be all the better. So at least that way, if anything else go tits up, then uh, I've got something to fall back on. That's, that's the general idea. I like to have several avenues open, so to speak. So if something goes wrong for whatever reason, I can then think, right, well, I can turn around and I'm going to take that avenue now. <laughs> I don't know. I just like to have the options there. <coughs> okay, yeah. Davenport's Magic Kingdom. Opened a couple of years ago, I think. No, two, three years ago. They do magic shows. Um, the actual owner, Roy Davenport, his family has done... Well, what bloody word is done things related to magic, we'll say, for donkey's years. They've got a very big history in the area. Uh, they have put a lot of work in, because it's a museum as well. He's got a lot of, um, I think a lot of the stuff were items from his family's history. There's lots of old illusion tools and whatnot he's got there, and gadgets and they do a little tour when you go in there before you um, see the main show. And if you haven't actually been to one of these magical shows, magician shows, whatever you want to call them, live, it's a hell of a lot better than watching it on TV. So if you get the chance, go. Because it's easy to think that when you're watching it on TV, you know, it's all trick of the camera and whatnot and video editing. Whereas when you're sitting there in a live audience and you're seeing the same things done as you see on TV, it's, it just feels more amazing to me. The screen's gone to sleep. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh. Vlog and laugh has stopped the live stream. That's a shame. Oh, well, I distracted myself, so it's my own fault. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Bloody hell. Num 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 num. I'm going to say hi to my friend and hope he's not too pissed off with me. I think I said earlier in the video I was supposed to help him today, but uh, when he was only working till lunchtime, and like I said, I woke up at 4.30. Feeling like a sack of shit. 
Not only did I have gut ache, they actually felt like they were burning from the inside out. And uh, I think I sat on the toilet for a good half an hour. I didn't get much sleep before that, and I've been pretty much like it without the gut ache, just the funny runnies, we'll say. Most of the day I've lost count on how many times I've actually been today. I can't think of what I ate yesterday that could have caused that, apart from um, some chicken wraps I got out of Sainsbury's last night, which I had before. The exact same ones I actually had, a few, yeah, the weekend, I think, was my friend got them for me. That was about a week ago, sorry. It was a Sunday, I didn't go at Mum's because I was helping him. Oh, miserable sobs going offline, perhaps I have pissed him off. <laughs> I can't help it if I feel like a sack of shit. What use would I have been this morning if I had to keep dashing off to the bloody toilet? I wouldn't have been much use anyway, would I? Oh well. Maybe I'll just have to get my groveling boots on. I doubt there's much left to do now anyway, probably a few trips with the trailers. Which I'll be glad when it's done because my trailer bike is falling to pieces. <laughs> well it isn't, it just it's dreadful to use, it really is. That should be nice. If I could get my cream coloured giant frame working with all gears and whatnot. That would be nice if I could do that. Speaking of, I had a guy contact me, I think I said this earlier in the video as well, I can't remember. But if someone I sold a bike to contacted me, I sold it to him middle of last year, I think, maybe even this time last year, I can't remember. Sometime last year. But it got nicked. My friend I've been helping actually found it lying in Pope's tunnel. Yeah, I did tell you, didn't I? Um, he asked me if I had any more boys' bikes, and initially I said no, but then I remembered I've got the um, red and white single speed I built, so I asked if he was interested, and he asked for a pick, so I've sent him a pick and uh, basically confirmed that it is um, a single speed. Well, I said the advantage is there's not a lot that can break on it. <laughs> and it is super light. That is a really light bike. The frame is really light on that one. And my friend finally replied, said, hi, are you okay? So I said, a little better than I was this morning. I don't know if he's back yet. Zoom he is. He, um, his girlfriend's kids have spent the week with their granddad. Because it's been half term here. A bit heartburn actually. I need to find a doodle. And acid. Anyway, I'm just waiting for around this guy a reply. But uh, I'm open to our office. I'll take anything on it. Cost me nothing to build it. <laughs> now it's got single speed and the one brake. So the only thing that can go wrong, cable-wise, is the rear brake cable. The rear brake pads wear out, and the free hub on the wheel go. But that's about it. There isn't much else that can fail on it. <laughs> Not that wouldn't wear out through just, you know, general wear and tear, like the tyres, for example. It's got good tyres on it. If 
got chunk guitars on it as well. I was going to put some thinner ones on, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. And if he wants it, then I won't bother. I'll just leave it as it is. Oh yeah, I was going to be optimistic and just check my emails again. Oh, he has replied. Oh, I don't know how much I want for it. Um, good question. Um, I don't know. Mm. I'm going to say a score, which is 20 quid over here. 20 British pounds. You know, about 30 US dollars, something like that. And you're probably thinking, damn, that's cheap, but I don't think it's worth much more than that. Glad I checked emails again, actually. Glad I was being optimistic. Right, I don't know where Nemo is. Oh, that reminds me, I've got his cat stick to clean up in the bedroom. <sighs> Sometimes when he goes to eat, he scoffs it down so fast that he just comes back through and throws it back up again. Thankfully it's rare and once in a blue moon. <laughs> Are you still checking for updates? Yes, you're still checking for friggin' updates. <sighs> right. This might be a bit of a long video because I'm in a chatty mood. <laughs> that cannot smell nice. That is my dirty washing pile. I've got dirty washing pile, yet I've got dirty washing over there. How does that work? Friggin' fan has pissed me off. Keep rattling like hell, especially when it starts to get warm. I'll be glad when I can get a hold of uh, a new one, because I'm just going to chuck that one out as well. I'm going to get two new ones. I'm going to get a small desk fan like that, and a big floor fan as well for in here. <laughs> I don't know why, but my neighbour below me, I see my shadow, look, my shadow is, um, I knew I'd got a bit noisy a couple of times late at night, I do try my best not to, but Again, if I accidentally knock something over, I can't help it, can I? And I'm not deliberately a noisy bastard, just to piss people off. But, um, he'd, um, spoken to Mum yesterday when Mum was waiting for me, and said, could you have a word with you, son? Because it's getting a bit noisy at 11 o'clock at night. You know, just trying to, just about to doze off to sleep, but then I hear a clang and a bang. It doesn't bother me, you know, it doesn't go to victory housing about it, but... What the fuck? The hell did that come from? I just started playing music. There's no CD in there, and I've got no media player going. It's just checking for updates. What the frig? Anyway, as I was saying, I just don't know why Roger don't come and speak to me. I'm not going to bite his head off. No, he just says, excuse me, I can hear a little bit of banging late at night. If you could just try and keep it down a bit, I'd be like, yeah, sorry, you know. I'll do my best to keep it quiet, sort of thing, you know, I'm not an asshole. 
not that much of an asshole anyway. No. I had bad neighbours in the first apartment I had. I don't really want to get on the wrong side of my neighbours in this one. But then again, the neighbours in this one are not likely to sit up their lounge window waving kitchen knives at me. Like the other ones did. And uh, come after me with a baseball bat. Like the other ones did. <coughs> I need to get to prison for it, because I wasn't scared when I did call the police, because, you know, unprovoked attack, I literally just, well, one of my friends had, I can't remember now, but he'd gone somewhere else, and we were all going to meet back at my flat anyway. And I'd cycled back to mine, and I'd gone round the back, you know, the communal garden, through the gate, Opened the communal shed to put the bike in there, and this glass bottle come flying over the wall. And initially, I thought that was just one of my friends having a laugh, you know, trying to scare me, but nope. As soon as I went back to open the gate, I got jumped by the brother of the girl that was living below me at the time. And I'm not sure if he was on drink or drugs or something like that, but... Uh, Certainly give me a pummeling with the baseball, baseball bat, the baseball bat, but uh, yeah, he got nicked for it because uh, I know exactly who he was. That was the mistake he made. I know exactly who he was, and of course, with all the bruises, I had the proof as well, <laughs> as well as witness statements from um, people in the flats. It did send me into a bit of depression because, uh, you know, despite all that noise out there and me actually shouting for help, no one actually came out to help. But uh, I suppose, in a sense, I can't really blame them, you know. Would you want to go out and get in the way of someone waving a baseball bat around? Nope, probably not. <laughs> so I don't blame them. But they did give witness statements, thankfully, so he did go down for it. And then someone drove a car through, because they moved out not long after that. Well, did they move out before? They may have moved out before, actually. Anyway, they had moved out to Stalham, which is about eight miles up the road from here. And I actually... <laughs> heard that someone had driven a car through their garden fence and drove off. I had, for years I had no idea who that was, but I do know now. <laughs> that was a friend of mine had an old car and decided to uh, take it upon themselves to drive it through their fence. <laughs> I honestly had no idea that anyone was going to do that. I haven't seen him in this area since, and I'm going back a good ten year ago now. A good ten years ago now. <clears throat> Didn't break a bone, though. So my size is beneficial, because <laughs> I've been this sort of podgy size for years. Actually, what people don't realise is, there's a lot of muscle under this. I can't prove it to you because, you know, you can't get here and poke it, but if I actually tense up my abdominal... Ab bleh, 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 abdomen... my belly muscles... <laughs> um, there is a bit of muscle under there. See? If that's fat, that would squidge. Get them that a bit too hard. I hope I got that on camera. <coughs> that's what my legs are. My legs are muscle from all the years of cycling I've done. The only downside is I didn't exercise the top half enough. So I've got these weak arms. <laughs> I 
So thankfully, when he was swinging about, he concentrated sort of on that area where I was big built. So the only thing I suffered was severe bruising. Not one broken <laughs> fraction <of bone. clears throat> Yeah, it's weird having to go at the police station and have it all bloody photographed and whatnot. <sighs> yep, I've been messaged. <laughs> oh, hello. I don't know what goes on. But he'll add me as a friend, and then it could be a few weeks, a couple of months down the line, he'll just disappear. <laughs> and I'll notice he's unfriended me. And at one point, he wasn't on any of the fast service groups he was on either. He had to request to rejoin them. I don't know what goes on, whether there's his Facebook is glitching, or if someone is hacking him and removing him, or... Can't add me as a friend for some reason. Let me go to his profile. There we go. So let me do it from this end. Holy hell. J. Reg Mercedes Estate. What is it? 230? 230 TA. Holy moly. That is an oldie. J. Reg, that would be 1990, around about 1990, 91, something like that. I suppose the damn thing hadn't rotted away. Mind you, aside from the dirt, that don't look too bad. See? Don't look too bad, aside from the muck. Typical red shade from that era. Uh, I don't like modern cars. I would r actually rather have that to, uh, than a modern car. Mm. Oh. No. Pardon. Right. We've got a few minutes left before this click over so. Can I think of anything else? I'll do a turn off the camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose if my friend wants me tomorrow, he'll come and get me. Probably come wake me up as he normally does. Uh, still wait on this friggin' laptop. I still can't believe that laptop just randomly plays music. I have no idea where it fucking came from. It's coming from over here anyway. And the only things I've got on there are the two laptops, and one of them is turned off. So, not got the focus, I don't believe. Not unless it was that maybe, but I've only just opened it up, so I can't imagine it would do that. I wasn't going to, but I will install Firefox later and AVG. Um, I do need a, some more DDR2 RAM. Another gigabyte would be good. I suppose it would be a good opportunity to test this 512 one, because a gig and a half will be better than nothing at the moment. But, uh, I can't turn it off to the sun's funny house in the round with this. It will do for now. There's enough on there to run it for the time being. Uh, I suppose I should go down and put the bike up. Um, 
Not the top, is on that bike. Now the lowest I would take is 15 just to get the fucking thing out of the way. And that helps him out as well, because you know he's got a bike, so... Or would have a bike, I should say. With very little that would go wrong with it, and hopefully no fucker will nick it. <coughs> um, oh fuck. I forgot to ask him what he wants us to do with the other one. His other one. I haven't seen it yet, but my friend said the rear derailleur is wrapped all around the back wheel. And if it's got nicked and it's been played around with, then no doubt both wheels are buckled to fuck as well. But um, if he doesn't want it, then I did say to my friend, you know, we could um, put it back as a trailer bike, because that was the bike I was using to tow trailers with before I sold it. <laughs> if it just needs a derailleur and. Um, couple of wheels and I'll just chuck those in there and use it as a trailer bike. <laughs> <coughs> if he doesn't want it anymore. But, uh, I don't know, until I get to my friend's garden so I can actually see it in daylight properly, I ain't gonna know if it's fixable or worth it. Tommy made a weird noise in. Okay, all the battery's going to go now anyway, so thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Very much appreciated when you do that. I look forward to getting new subscribers. <clears throat> no, if I can, I'll always reply to a comment if I can think of something to reply with. If I haven't, then assume I've not thought of anything to reply with. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.